Hello, Fat Guy Flies RC here. How y'all doing? Coming to you from the man cave today. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Bighorn, the Ohio model pro product hobby, um, or OMP. Bighorn, 49 inch. This is the plug and play version. And all I've done is take it out of its uh, cardboard crate. This would be the first time me seeing it also. And, uh, I got the plug-and-play version. I want to say it was with taxes and shipping and everything, $299, $295, something like that. And this is a balsa and pine plane. Um, everything looks like a lot of these models. Um, pre, everything is pre-packaged. Uh, not like your E-Flight models or your uh, FMS or what we may be used with our... Uh, our um, foam planes, but instead we have this is a balsa and pine, and man, the, of course this is balsa and then uh, monocoat or polycoat or whatever it is. These uh, the CA hinges are already glued in on the rudder for you, and a good looking vibrant color there. Yeah, they're already glued in. Uh, ball link ball link on your uh, control arm there that really looks good um, let's take a look at our horizontal stabilizer or elevator and uh, oh man they've already cut the if any of you have ever put an ARF together or an all, almost ready to fly you got to cut that monocoat or the conocoat or whatever's on there, the film. They've already done that. So you're all you got to do is fit and glue. Oh, man, this is nice. This is really nice. Um, oh, you're, all your uh, troll arms there already glued in. Uh, yeah, elevator's already hinged. The only thing I got to hinge, the only thing I, I mean, I'm going to have to hinge. Everything's already done so all I have to do is uh, CA glue the uh, elevator so that's man, look at that look at the finish on that man that is just beautiful nice big set of uh, big horn decals there or as my wonderful people over across the pond decals call them I've heard them call them decals before which I think is neat Let's see what we got going here. Got a little uh, glued. Looks like some uh, servo trays. Set your servos down, but I don't think I'm going to need them. The servos should already be installed. Um, control arms there. And of course, our nice big piece, big old beefy landing gear. Nice and strong. Take a look at this. I mean, what we kind of... Oh yeah. I mean, they're hard, but they do have some give. So that's nice. Nothing else in here that I can tell. Always pick up your trash as you go. Makes it a lot easier. That way you don't hide something or lose something. Yeah, look, the elevator, everything's already elevator and, uh, or not the elevator, aileron and uh, flap. I went ahead, I sprung for the flap one. Uh, looks like the servos are already installed there. So that is awesome. Don't have to worry about paint coming off the foam on this. Oh, man. And it's not that I'm starting to make a trend toward balsa and pine. I just, I put that little, um, Vmar L19 uh, little balsa and pine playing together, and I just enjoyed the experience so much. And I just love the way the thing flew. Look at that, everything's already hinged. Oh man, this, this, is, this is quality. This is like E flight type quality and FMS quality, but in a balsa plane. And uh, I got this, I just didn't want to have to pay. 
for that that five six hundred dollar uh, Great Plains big ugly stick that, that they've got. I just didn't want. Oh, this is. I figured balsa plane, you know. So I give uh, Ohio Ohio uh, model. I give them a shot. American owned. I don't know if it's American. I know they got a China partners, but the name is Ohio Model Products, and uh, I know they've got some uh, connections here in the United States. I mean, maybe the product comes from China, but hey, look at this. This is this reminds me a lot of the dimensions of the Timber X. Reminds me an awful lot of that. All right, I'll I'll leave those on. You've already seen. Uh, look at look at the big decals. You already got your servos. These wings are going to come slide right on and right off. No issues at all. Okay, nice. Uh, Here's the main event here, the fuselage. Before we do that, got uh, everything's taped in there so it won't, won't slide around. Prop, a blue prop that matches the color scheme. Nice carbon fiber spar. Make sure there's nothing else in the box here. And uh, I'm not going to do a build video, um, but if you'll, I'll put a link to the uh, description of this product for Ohio model product old products in the description of this video, and on the page for this, they do an excellent build video, and you know, am I just going to reproduce the same thing that they're doing? And, and he explains it just as well, or not a lot better than me. And it's going to be use the same kind of uh, you know CA glue um, that I'll be using, and everything else just bolts together. So I'm not going to do a uh, build video because they offer such a great build video on there, and that and that you know yeah I know you're going to watch their video, and I'm not going to get credit for it, but they explains it better than I can. And my whole point is that you get a good experience, not so much that you get you know great from me, you get your information from wherever. But uh, they do such a great video that I just no need for me to reproduce it. I will, however, do a or try to do a post build video. That way, in case I come up with something that maybe is not covered in their video or something that I discover on my own and uh, that, that you may discover. So, therefore, I'll say, hey, here's what I found. And. Uh, and they've taken so much time and care in, in uh, putting this together. Now, oh good, it's not a bottom feeder. Nice vent right there. Um, I need to tighten up the thing, but then again, that's okay. Oh, hey, just like the timber, they already knew. Or the, the new uh, Evolution. Nice battery strap in there. Nice big, lots of room for your receiver and your battery. Probably put a big, uh, a larger three cell in there. And uh, then you got an access hatch up top here. Oh boy, look at, look at, nice, look at that nice holder. That, Strong magnets. That way you can put your receiver down in there. Plenty of room for the battery. That just nice, plenty of room. Man, look, I got these great big hands and look at that. Man, I'm very impressed. Uh, they've got like carbon fiber plates backing up where you connect your wing. This is going to be a very aerobatic looking. Uh, reminds me, like I say, reminds me of an awful lot of the Timber X. And that just pops in there like that. This is kind of loose, so I'll have to see what's going on. It might just be how the, because I know you got to add your prop. But look at the, the, the detail. And the, oh yeah, a nice, uh, looks like maybe a two or one and a half millimeter full of screws there. Nice cooling for your ESC. 
can't see the ESC, so I'll probably have to take um, that, but I want to say it's a 40 amp. But you know what I don't see? I don't see instructions anywhere. Um, they do provide, like I say, maybe we've got to watch that video specifically for that. Um, I don't see any instructions. Let me uh, search my box here. Uh, no. No instructions that I see. Maybe it's like um, Hobby King. You have to, they save money by no manual and uh, yeah, no, no instructions. But this is not going to be hard at all. This is actually you can look at the parts and tell what you have to do. So I don't think there is a need for instructions. Um, I will use my balancer and balance the prop. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be okay. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is Fat Guy Flyers RC. This is the Ohio uh, model product uh, or OMP uh, Bighorn. And uh, I'm going to get her together, and then I'll do you a, uh, if I come up with anything or anything, I'll do a post-build video. And uh, there you go. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and remember, you are you wonderful people are my only sponsor by watching my videos, liking the videos, hitting that thumbs up, and subscribing. Thank you so much. God bless y'all. Bye bye.